Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paula Milone Nuzzo, and as president of the MGH Institute of Health Professions, it is my pleasure to welcome the class of 2020 and their family and friends to our 40th commencement ceremony, a milestone in your life as well as the school's history. To celebrate this IHP milestone anniversary, I would like to briefly talk about the Institute's beginnings. In 1966, Ruth Sleeper, director of the Massachusetts General Hospital School of Nursing, promoted the idea of a freestanding degree-granting institution affiliated with the hospital. Two very powerful physicians at the time, Dr. John Knowles and Dr. Charles Sanders, worked with Ms. Sleeper to create a model for graduate education of health professionals within the MGH organization. Their idea of educating health professionals together was innovative at the time, but they saw the importance of collaboration and practice. In 1977, MGH was awarded degree granting authority by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and in 1980, MGH Institute of Health Professions officially opened, admitting its first students in physical therapy and social work. What we now know about the vision of Ms. Sleeper and Dr. Knowles and Sanders was that their concept of interprofessional education and practice was nothing short of revolutionary. Throughout these four decades, the IHP has continued to grow and change, and the number of alumni has grown to more than 8,400. In addition to celebrating all of you who are graduating today, we celebrate 40 years of graduating future leaders in the health professions committed to transforming care. Well, this is not how any of us would have imagined celebrating the achievements of this outstanding class of 566 graduating healthcare professionals. I had hoped to celebrate with you and your proud family, friends, faculty, and staff in person. But unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has separated us in ways that we have never experienced before. However, let me be the first of many people today who will congratulate you on this incredible achievement. Graduation is a day of both excitement and reflection, a day for you to experience the great joy of having achieved something you set out to accomplish, but also with anxiety about having to assume the role of a healthcare provider with such enormous responsibility. I hope you are proud of your achievements, and I hope you are eager to get to work so that decades from now, you can look back and say, you left things better than you found them. Now, more than ever, the country's stark racial, health, and economic inequities are all too obvious to continue to be ignored. You can contribute to the solutions to these systemic problems by committing to act against racism, standing up for social justice and equality wherever you see it, and wholeheartedly listening to and supporting those who have experienced oppression and marginalization based on the color of their skin. Your role in the fight for equality is more important than ever, and now the hard work begins. True to its founding vision, the MGH Institute continues to be at the forefront in educating tomorrow's healthcare leaders, and that includes all of you who are graduating today. You are the future of healthcare. You have both a great opportunity and a great challenge to make a difference in your chosen profession. There is, I believe, no more noble calling. Award ceremonies for the respective academic programs have been held prior to commencement to recognize outstanding achievements by members of this year's graduating class and the faculty. The prizes and awards bestowed at the award ceremonies are listed and described in each of the individual ceremony booklets. Congratulations to everyone who has received an award this year. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Peter Slavin, President and Chief Executive Officer of Massachusetts General Hospital. Peter's leadership has set an example for how an institution can excel in providing the most modern, high technology care while not losing sight of the need for humanistic and compassionate care. 
I'm so pleased Peter has joined us today. Peter? Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Slavin, President of Mass General Hospital, and I want to congratulate the IHP graduates of 2020. I also want to send my best wishes and congratulations to your parents, your family members, your friends for helping support you through your education at the Mass General uh, Institute of Health Professions. Uh, you are about to enter a remarkable career as a healthcare professionals. How remarkable it is has never been demonstrated more profoundly than over the last uh, few months. Justice Brandeis uh, once said that the definition of a healthcare professional is somebody who masters a body of knowledge, who continuously tries to improve that body of knowledge, and who uses that body of knowledge selflessly in trying to uh, help other human beings. We've seen that in such a moving ways happen across this country, across this world, as healthcare professionals have really done mighty, mighty work trying to help people suffering from COVID-19. I, I want to, uh, again, congratulate you on this important milestone in your education. I uh, congratulate you in entering the ranks of healthcare professionals who dedicate themselves so profoundly to improving the lots of other human beings and wish you all the best in your professional careers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. Your strong, continued support of the Institute is so very much appreciated. We are so fortunate to be part of the MGH family. For the second time in the IHP's history, our commencement speaker is a member of the graduating class. Mayame Muthu competed in a competition to represent the class of 2020. It is my honor to introduce her to you. Maya is graduating with a Master of Science in Speech and Language Pathology. She was born in Canada and moved to Massachusetts at a young age. Growing up, she excelled as a classical Indian dancer and pianist. She moved back to Canada for her undergraduate studies, earning a BS in Honor Science from the University of Waterloo with concentrations in biology and psychology. As an undergraduate, Maya founded the University of Waterloo's MedLife Chapter, an organization that provides healthcare and educational resources to low-income families with the goal of mitigating the detrimental effects of poverty. Maya will be moving to Northern California to pursue a clinical fellowship in pediatric speech and language. She is particularly interested in early childhood development and autism spectrum disorders. In her career, Maya plans to leverage her rigorous clinical training and diverse cultural background to improve access to speech and language services for low resource and underserved communities, both locally and abroad. Maya. Faculty, fellow students, family, and friends. I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak to you today on behalf of the MGH Institute of Health Professions graduating class of 2020. Just two years ago, I was a shy graduate from an intensely studious college in Canada. I was anxious and preoccupied and my mind buzzed incessantly with questions about the future. Was this the right career choice? Would I make a difference in anyone's life? Will I be good at this job? Will it be hard to make friends? Is Boston's food scene really that good? I vividly remember our first day of orientation at IHP. The day was a blur of meeting faculty, trying to guess how old our classmates were, trying to guess how married our classmates were, and making the half mile journey between 2CW and Building 36 all while having Google Maps open in an outstretched hand. During orientation, we learned many things that would become vital to our everyday success at MGH. How many credits are required to graduate? How good is the free coffee? Where are the restrooms? And we learned one concept that will undoubtedly become vital to our success in life, a growth mindset. A growth mindset a concept popularized by Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck argues that we each have the unique ability to improve, excel, and grow over time. 
It is the belief that our talents are not innate or predefined, but rather that our potential is unbounded and that our future is in our control. Soon after orientation, we embarked on our journey of growth, supported by the world's best faculty, surrounded by our peers and soon to be friends, and emboldened by our newly acquired growth mindset, an unwavering belief that I can't is just the first step towards I did. Before long, we began our first classes, took our first midterms, and saw our first patients. During clinic, we worked with patients of every race, religion, and socioeconomic status. And for the first time in our young careers, we learned what it felt like to be asked for help. Together, we made positive changes in the lives of our patients and in the culture of the Institute. We shared our ideas, our voices, and our emotions. We cried together and rejoiced together. We celebrated birthdays and holidays, and we shared our anxieties and our hopes. We collaborated with our colleagues from the other departments, PA, PT, OT, CSD, genetic counseling and nursing, forming the foundation of what interprofessional practice should represent. But over these last two years, I learned two specific lessons that were more transformative than any of the rest. Number one, that there are no such thing as patients or providers. We are all simply people who play those roles at different times in our lives. Early in my second year of graduate school, my grandfather, while visiting from India to attend my wedding celebrations, suffered a large hemorrhagic stroke that left him largely unable to walk, communicate, or swallow. In a matter of hours, everything I was learning in the classroom came to life. Neural pathways were not just difficult to memorize pictures in a textbook. Rather, they were important physiologic mechanisms that could have a permanent impact on my grandfather's future. Aspiration precautions were not only an abstract set of guidelines, rather they were life-saving measures that I had to make sure my grandfather understood. I spent many days by his bedside in a cold hospital room in Washington, DC, keeping a journal of his rehabilitation progress, emailing my faculty for guidance and support, and reassuring him that progress is always possible and that the ability to heal is within us all. The second lesson I learned is that everyone, regardless of income, nationality, gender, or ability, deserves an equal chance at recovery. During my first clinical placement in a public school, I attended a meeting with immigrant parents for whom English was a second language. Their daughter, a rising preschooler, was recommended to receive speech therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. At the end of the meeting, the father asked the interpreter if he could say something to the group. His voice quivered as he glanced over at his young daughter playing beside him, but he continued on for several minutes. The interpreter took a long pause before beginning to translate. He then began. He wants to let you know how thankful he is that they moved to this country and how thankful he is that his daughter is eligible to receive therapy. When he looks around this room and sees this many people eager to help his daughter succeed, it makes him feel like it is the best day of his life. He now feels confident that his daughter will have the support she needs to succeed academically and accomplish anything she wants to. My eyes watered as I realized that the growth mindset that we were taught during orientation was not only meant for us, it was also meant for our patients. No matter how physically deconditioned or mentally discouraged, our patients possess within them 
this unique life force, the ability to gain strength, enhance cognition, and improve speech. And we, as healthcare providers, are very fortunate to accompany them on their journeys. I wrote the first draft of this speech in the beginning of 2020, before the word COVID had any meaning, when work from home was reserved for snowstorms, and when George Floyd, Richard Brooks, David Dorn, and countless others had so tragically lost their lives. It's hard to believe how much and how quickly our lives have changed in such a short period of time. Each of us has faced unexpected challenges in the last several months. For some, as minor as buying a new desk chair or adjusting to telepractice, but for others, as harrowing as not knowing if you can pay rent this month, losing a loved one to COVID-19, or wondering if your life will be threatened because of the color of your skin. But during this period, we've also demonstrated to ourselves the importance of a growth mindset. The simple hope that tomorrow can be better than today. As we go forward in our careers, I hope we look back at this time of hardship as also a time of growth for ourselves, our communities, and our patients. I hope we remember that often challenges are opportunities and that sometimes crises can bring clarity. Thank you all. Maya, on behalf of all of us at the Institute, but especially on behalf of today's graduating class, we are grateful for your words of wisdom to this new cohort of healthcare professionals. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Board of Trustees Chair, Dr. Jeanette Ives Erickson. Jeanette began her healthcare career as a nurse earning her diploma from Mercy Hospital School of Nursing, her BSN from Westbrook College, her MS from Boston University, and her Doctorate of Executive Nursing Practice from the MGH Institute. She is Chief Nurse Emerita at Massachusetts General Hospital and is the inaugural incumbent of the Paul M. Erickson Endowed Chair in Nursing. Most recently, she served as Co-Medical and Operations Director at Boston Hope, the medical center constructed in April inside the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center, which served post-acute COVID-19 patients and homeless patients with COVID-19. Jeanette? Thank you, Paula, for that wonderful introduction. I want to begin by acknowledging that today I am standing in the very center where you were due to graduate. Instead, as the world faced a pandemic, we turned this center, this field hospital, into a place of healing. As you know, the IHP community made significant contributions during the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 350 students, faculty, and alumni from both the School of Nursing and the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences worked at MGH, Boston Hope, the Assembly Road Call Center, Chelsea Quality Inn, and Spalding, Cambridge. I was fortunate to see many of them, including some of you in the class of 2020 at Boston Hope, where you put aside your own safety concerns to provide excellent patient care during this crisis. It is this type of dedication and service to the greater good that is a hallmark of what it means to be a graduate of the Institute. The mission of the Institute is distinctive. We prepare health professionals and scientists to advance care for a diverse society through leadership in education, clinical practice, research, and community engagement. You are joining a community of more than 8,400 alumni who are among the best in their field. I am confident you will follow in their footsteps and continue that important mission. Take pride in your courage, adaptability, dedication to patients and teamwork as healthcare leaders. Stay focused in this time of uncertainty. As members of the healing professions, you must lead by example 
Lead by always taking the moral high ground and lead by understanding that life is precious. We are living in a time where hope and a vision for the future is in short supply. Find common ground, look at the goodness in all people and always be resilient. Resilience is described as a dynamic process encompassing positive adaptation within the context of significant adversity. And it takes time, strength, and help from people around you. So in this time of significant change, always remember to believe in yourself, our nation, and always understand that as leaders, we bear a special responsibility to care for and about others. I am now honored to have the opportunity to award only the fifth honorary degree in the Institute's history. Until five years ago, the IHP did not award honorary degrees. Because of our growth and success, the trustees believe we were at a point in our history to pursue authorization by the Massachusetts Board of Higher Education to award honorary degrees. To recognize excellence and extraordinary achievement in significant areas of human endeavor within which are embodied the mission and core values of MGH Institute of Health Professions and to honor meritorious and outstanding service to MGH Institute of Health Professions and or to society at large. Dr. Betty Ann Harris fulfills both the letter and spirit of these stated purposes in light of her extraordinary achievements, contributions, and impact on healthcare broadly and on MGH Institute of Health Professions specifically. I am confident in saying that the many students, alumni, faculty, senior leaders, and trustees of the Institute have benefited from BA's vision, dedication, philanthropy, and her deep and abiding affection for the Institute. Today, we are proud to bestow on her the Doctor of Humane Letters, the fifth honorary degree in our history. I would now like to read the resolution adopted by the Board of Trustees to recognize BA's service and notable contributions in support of the Institute. Whereas, Dr. Betty Ann Harris has served admirably and faithfully as a leader of the MGH Institute for 28 years, committing her time, talents, and generous philanthropy towards its betterment. And whereas over the course of her career, she consistently expressed her belief in the commitment to the mission of the MGH Institute and its role as a leading force in higher education and healthcare in both her words and actions. And whereas her knowledge of the physical therapy profession, her exemplary skill in the classroom, and her academic leadership expertise made her an invaluable asset to a growing and maturing academic institution, she provided leadership within her own department as a special coordinator, preceptor, interim program director, and program director. And whereas her contributions to the development of knowledge through research began in 1983 when she was awarded a grant to study the cost effectiveness of physical therapy for patients with painful stiff shoulders. Her research continued with a series of studies developing and examining on a strength training model for older patients without disability that could be done as a home-based exercise a model which is still used today in the senior centers across the country. And whereas at the institute level, she became a faculty member in 1985, she served as a special assistant for new initiatives in the office of the president. The interim associate academic dean, the special assistant for academic affairs, and the associate provost for academic affairs in the office of the provost. She was promoted to the rank of full professor in 2007. Her approach to the IHP was selfless, and she was willing and able to step in these roles as needed to advance the institute. And whereas in 1988, she received the Massachusetts chapter APTA award for outstanding achievement in research. And in 2006, she received the Distinguished Alumni Award from the Graduate School of Health Studies at Simmons College. 
In 2006, the IHP renamed the Distinguished Alumni Award to the Betty Ann Harris Distinguished Alumni Award in recognition of her many contributions to the IHP. And whereas the students, alumni, faculty, leaders, and trustees of the Institute have all benefited from her vision, wisdom, dedication, and philanthropy, which have inspired countless others to believe in and support the Institute. Therefore, be it resolved that the trustees of the MGH Institute of Health Professions on this sixth day of March in the year 2020 do hereby convey their heartfelt gratitude to Betty Ann Harris and bestow upon her the honorary degree Doctor of Humane Letters. In recognition of her many contributions that have elevated the Institute to a position of prominence as a leading health professions graduate school, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I offer our heartfelt gratitude and congratulations. <laughs>
With these departments, we expanded into professional collaborations. We realized that they offered expertise in their specific disciplines. So interprofessional went beyond the health professions. We had special lectures, graduation speakers that gave us new ideas, broadened our horizon. Thank you, Dr. Paul Farmer, for introducing me to Michael Murphy, who founded Mass Design. With the, with the pandemic, he's become a spokesperson for the importance of airflow when meeting, treating patients, having classes, eating out in restaurants, going to health clubs, getting on airplanes, and living in dormitories. The list goes on and on. He and his group are providing solutions to a problem I hadn't thought about until recently. Another example how there are other disciplines with expert knowledge. So what do I see now in the future? We are going beyond the Institute. We have formal relationships with Harvard Medical School, MIT, Harvard School of Education, and there are others. We now have a department with an associate provost for interprofessional education. We are experts in distance learning. Good thing we had a jump start on that given this pandemic. We now have a free care clinic. It's fa faculty supervised care provided by students. We have internships. We have a beautiful global health curriculum with faculty led trips to other countries such as Haiti, Dominican Republic, South Africa, and India. I've had the honor to work with Presidents Ann Caldwell, Jan Bellock, Paula Maloney Nuzo, and Provost Alex Johnson. They are all a force. Our students are amazing. Many have stepped up and helped care for patients with COVID, and they do whatever it takes, whether it's direct care or helping to deliver meals, washing masks, et cetera. Compassion and excellence describe our trustees, administration, faculty, staff, and students. I close with two of my favorite quotes that are my guidelines. Eleanor Roosevelt, who's one of my heroes, said, do one thing every day that scares you. And then, of course, Jonas Salk. There is hope in dreams, imagination, and in the courage of those who wish to make those dreams a reality. I am so proud to be part of the IHP, and now watch with admiration as the students continue to be active learners. So many of our graduates are true leaders in their healthcare field. It's been an amazing ride. With much gratitude and love, I thank you for this incredible honor. Betty Ann, Dr. Harris, thanks for that inspiring speech. Like most colleges and universities, the Institute has a history of honoring its long-serving distinguished faculty members by naming them either Dean Emeriti or Faculty Emeriti. This title is reserved for those individuals who have contributed a substantial portion of their career and who have made extraordinary contributions to the Institute during their tenure. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it gives me great pleasure to recognize and formally bestow the title of Faculty Emerita on four deserving members of the faculty. The Board of Trustees has determined that each of these retired or retiring faculty members is most deserving of this special honor. Information about their impressive careers and contributions to the Institute in their respective professional fields is in your program. Let me begin. Dr. Inga Corliss has been a member of the Institute community for 27 years and renowned in the profession of nursing as a trailblazer in both the hospice and HIV AIDS prevention movement. She has brought stature to the Institute and to the School of Nursing through her research and through her service to the interprofessional and nursing community. Nationally and globally, her activities in research, teaching, and service reflect the IHP's vision to be a leader in health professions education and where faculty are recognized as contributing to creating and applying new knowledge to improve health outcomes through robust and distinctive programs of research and scholarship. Dr. Janice Goodman has been a member of the Institute community for more than 15 years, serving as track coordinator of the Psychiatric Nursing Advanced Practice Program. 
She has brought stature to the Institute and to the School of Nursing through multiple grant-funded initiatives focused on perinatal mental health, specifically directed to improving the mental health of mothers and infants in the most vulnerable postpartum period and through her work to bring mind and body wellness approaches to the Institute community and to a regional and national audience. Dr. Goodman's service to the IHP has been evidenced through participating on research committees, mentoring faculty, and mentoring numerous students in research with hands-on experience. Dr. Patricia Lucia Dunsty has been a member of the Institute community for 18 years. She served as the School of Nursing Assistant Dean of Academic Affairs for 2011 to 2016 and as Assistant Dean for Student Support and Clinical Facilitation from 2016 to the current semester. In these roles, she has distinguished herself as a leader within the School of Nursing and throughout the Institute, creating a culture of learning and engagement for students that promote students' academic and personal success, thereby increasing student satisfaction and student retention. The School of Nursing has one of the highest retention rates for students regionally and nationally, which is directly related to Dr. Lucia Dunsty's sustained and proactive efforts on behalf of students. Dr. Nancy Terras has been a member of the Institute community for 35 years. In fact, she was a faculty member at the first School of Nursing graduation in 1985. Throughout that time, Dr. Terras has made a sustained and lasting contribution to the health of children and infants, specifically focusing on caregiver stress, breastfeeding support, and infant feeding problems. Dr. Terras focused her initial research work on the use of respite care services by parents of children with chronic illness and disability. She presented her research both nationally and internationally. Her research has been accepted for presentations at interprofessional conferences. Her activities in teaching, research, and service clearly reflect the IHP's mission to prepare health professionals to advance care for a diverse society and engagement. Doctors Corliss Goodman, Teres, and Lucia Dunsty, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to bestow on you the title of Faculty Emerita with all the rights and privileges accorded the special title of honor. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much, Jeanette. Each year at commencement, we have the pleasure of presenting two alumni awards. A full description of these awards is in your program. As these awards are presented, I ask you to think about the fact that both accomplished graduates of the IHP were once sitting where you are today. I know you share our collective pride in their leadership contributions to improving health and health care. Our first award, the Emerging Leader Award, goes to the IHP alumnus who graduated within the past 10 years and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership and made significant contributions to their professional discipline and or healthcare in general. This year's recipient is 2014 Master of Physical Therapy graduate, Janesh Gandhi. Let me tell you about Janesh. Janesh came to the Institute as an international student from India. While at IHP, he began to develop leadership skills as a hardworking, dedicated, and cherry student who had a graduate assistant position in the offices of the provost and campus services. Today, Janesh is a leader. At Novacare Rehabilitation, where he works, Janesh's ability to self-reflect, take constructive criticism, and actively listen has turned him from an aspirational practice case manager to an actual one. Working with the Delaware Technical Community College Physical Therapy Assistant students, as a supervisor, Janesh offers well-rounded clinical experience that includes hands-on patient care, feedback to develop clinical skills, education on ev evidence-based practice, comparisons on models and patient outcome, and utilizes an approach that emphasizes the importance of cultural competence in patient care. Janesh's learning did not end at graduation, as he obtained specialist certification in orthopedics, 
through the American Physical Therapy Association, as well as becoming certified in mechanical diagnosis and therapy through the McKenzie Institute. Janesh, we are proud to have you as an alum and look forward to hearing about all your future accomplishments. Congratulations. The second alumni award is the Betty Ann Harris Distinguished Alumni Award, the highest form of recognition awarded to a graduate of the Institute. This award is named in honor of the Institute's first master's degree graduate and now the fifth recipient of the IHB honorary doctorate that was bestowed earlier in this program. This award is given to an alumnus who graduated 10 or more years ago and who has demonstrated exceptional leadership, achievement, and service in advancing healthcare. We are honored to recognize Dr. Andrew Dwyer as the recipient of the 2020 Betty Ann Harris Distinguished Alumni Award. This year, we celebrate the 15th anniversary of this award, as well as all those who have received it. Let me tell you about Andrew. By adding the word accomplished to innovator, researcher, leader, advocate, and teacher, you will begin to see the impact Andrew is making in the world. Beginning with the Institute, Andrew innovatively combined a master's in nursing with a certificate in clinical investigation. This combination, along with a PhD obtained at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland, presented him with many research opportunities that have exerted substantial and sustained national and international impact in the fields of endocrinology, genetics, adolescent health, and rare diseases. One of Andrew's nominators said, while he is admired for his clinical acumen, leadership on boards, awards received, and ensuring the long-term sustainability of the nursing profession, I am most impressed by his staunch patient advocacy. Andrew values the intrinsic worth of each human being. Another shared, Andrew is a gifted instructor who draws students in with his deep knowledge and charismatic way of communicating complex topics. To close, I will quote Andrew's classmate, Alex Gleason. Andrew is an exceptional alumnus whose commitment to excellent achievement and humanity exemplify the ideals of this prestigious award. Please join me in congratulating both of this year's alumni awardees. Good afternoon. My name is Alex Johnson, and I'm the provost at the MGH Institute of Health Professions. I would like to thank all of the IHP alumni and also offer congratulations to our soon-to-be colleagues, their families, our outstanding alumni award winners, and to our faculty. You have all achieved so much despite the world's many attempts to interrupt learning and practice in ways none of us could have ever imagined. This virtual graduation proves that the IHP community keeps forging ahead, regardless of the obstacles in our way. I want to offer special congratulations to my good friend and colleague, Dr. B.A. Harris. Her long affiliation with and service to the IHP is a model for all of us who care about this place. My wish for our graduates is that your new profession and your new career blossom into something better than you have ever imagined. I hope that you carry with you the Institute's aspirations for interprofessionalism, respect for diversity and inclusion for everyone, and practice in your field at the highest level attainable. I also hope that you remember the Institute and that you stay in touch. You are why we are all here. Congratulations. I now have the pleasure of introducing our academic leaders who will offer greetings. First, I'm pleased to introduce Dean Elaine Tagliarini, Dean of the School of Nursing. Next, you'll hear from Dr. Michael Iwama, Dean of the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. And finally, Dr. Peter Kahn, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs and Director of the Center for Interprofessional Studies and Innovation. Good afternoon, I am Elaine Tayarini, the Dean of the School of Nursing. On behalf of the School of Nursing's esteemed faculty and hardworking staff, it's my honor to congratulate the over 300 School of Nursing baccalaureate, masters, and doctoral graduates. As our nation faces the greatest global health challenge in a century, 
and addresses racial inequality in our streets, nurses are on the front lines offering hope and healing, turning their knowledge into effective advocacy for those they are entrusted to serve. We honor our graduates today, knowing that they share a legacy of professional integrity, academic excellence, ethical conduct, and personal responsibility that prepares them to meet these challenges today and into a future that is yet unknown. Congratulations, graduates. You are ready. We could not be prouder of you. What a great day this is. I am Michael Iwama, Dean of the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. This is the next moment that all of us, you the graduand, your family and loved ones, and all of us at the Institute have been waiting for. This symbolic walk past the mace and lectern marks a magnificent moment of affirmation of your calling. Your calling is that inner silent voice that impelled you to seek a life and career path devoted to helping and caring for others, often in their greatest time of need. Many of us have come to know that there is no greater love and purpose than to lay down your life for others. So great is your calling that a historic pandemic of global proportions could not blunt or alter it. We are grateful and honored that you chose to pursue your magnificent calling at the MGH Institute of Health Professions. Today, we celebrate you as you cross the threshold of your calling to now enter this professional path of caring. Everything you have experienced, endured, and worked hard for is now being affirmed. What a magnificent achievement. Congratulations. We are with you now and join with your loved ones in expressing how very proud we are of you. You are the salt of the earth. Godspeed as you now go forward and change the world. I'm Peter Kahn, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs and Director of the Center for Interprofessional Studies and Innovation. Commencement has traditionally posed a challenge to the graduates of the Health Professions Education Program. HPED, as it's called, is a part-time mostly online degree for working clinicians. When the May event in Boston comes around, you are usually performing your roles across the United States and the world. You are participating in the academic rituals of your home institutions and attending to the clinical needs of patients and clients. This year, the MGH Institute has come around to our way of learning. My hope is that means more of you can participate in this celebration. It's a true accomplishment to receive your degree while working on the front lines of COVID-19. This degree signifies your membership in a nearly 100 strong community of HPED alumni. Along with them, you are ready to contribute to preparing new generations of health professionals whose skill and compassion will be even more needed in the future. This is the moment you all have been waiting for the conferring of degrees and certificates. Let us begin. Presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy in Rehabilitation Sciences. Katerin Adam Dester. Christopher Thomas Joyce. Catherine Jo Leslie. Danusa Nunn. Megan Elizabeth Schleep. Julie Marie Schulman. Presenting the candidates for the Master of Science in Health Professions Education. Edige Abahuja. 
Wid Saad Almateri. Joanna Mary Bonsall. Jared W. Henriksen. Zahira Khalid. Adrian Jit Hin Ko. Pei Wen Lim. Margaret B. Mitchell. Derek Lee Monette. Abdul Rahman Y. Sabah. Kayoshi Shikino. Elaine Ching Ching Tan. Kazuyo Yamauchi. Kaylin Karen Chung. Presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing practice. Kimberly Marie Boyer. Anne P. Cormier. Amy Ann Cotton. Annette Marie Di Eugenio. Barbara Louise Di Tulio. Anna Leo Enright. Linda Teresa Fanning. Julie Goldman. Anna Paula Gomes. Patricia A. Ide. Irina Ilieva. Darlene Christy Janvier. Megan R. Mays. Dorothy Fitzgerald Parker. Rachel Barnum Rick. Monica Grigg Staples. Mary Sullivan Smith. Amanda M. H. Torje. Mary Beth K. Yance. Presenting the candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing. Elizabeth Christine Adami. Jessica K. Adamson. Marissa J. Albert. Christopher Joseph Allen. Sarah M. Arvidson. Sarah Catherine Barnhart. Alejandra Badoya. Sarah Jane Bacala. Abby Catherine Bishop. Perry Elizabeth Blank. Zoe Leah Blatt. Sarah Elizabeth Brassett. Anne Sutherland Bruntrager. Caroline Burbank. Alexander Ryan Campanaria. Rihanna Candido. 
Elizabeth Canty. Alexandra M. Carlson. Kelsey Lynn Carter. Stephen John Shahaki. Janina Marie Colavita. Alyssa Ray Collins. Brittany Catherine Covert. Paige Alice Craven. Sandra Castudio. Samantha A. Deglawi. Lauren Elizabeth Dewey. Kelsey Lee Diamond. Rafaela Vieira Dos Santos. Kelsey C. Dusler. Courtney Marie Emery. Megan Dumas Farley. Allison Ann Fazio. Alana Fitzgerald. Elizabeth Jane Flash. Natalie Helen Fong. Michaela Frian. Mia C. Giles. Tyler Zachary Gillingham. Majida Gomi. Kelsey Harbour. Sarah Louise Higginbotham. Un Chong Hong. Mark D. Hughes. Kayla M. Imperator. Holly Jean Irvin. Taya Rochelle Johnson. Brittany O. Jurgen. Julia Carr. Andrea Shino Kaseguma. Sarah Ray Kaufman. Julie Johanna Hyken. Jason Peter Knowles. Emily Ayers Coella. Jacqueline Renee Kubasak. Kara M. Lay. Erica Alexandria Lee. Sydney Elaine Lett. Sarah Danforth Lupino. Michaela Cicely Marecki. Carrie Ann Marinelli. Rita Maria Matute. Alexa Lynn McQuinney. Catherine Elizabeth Misiko. Paul Joseph Morris. Lily Ann Mata. 
Susan Page Mullaney, Candace Eileen Newmeyer, Anthony Fitzgerald Paredes, Kelly May Parker, Robert Parker. Janet Marie Pellerosi, Allison Nicole Peltier, Cassandra Shireen Padet, Lydia S. Plakius, Rebecca C. Rathburn. Elizabeth May Rutu, Catherine Ellen Rice, Suki Rice, Heather May Richardson, Hannah Rose Rizal. Grace Ann Riley, Juliana Marie Roberts, Nicole A. Rodriguez, Danielle Lynn Rogers, Jennifer L. Sonier. Edwidge Siak, Stephanie Setch, Madeline Z. H. Sedlak, Rohit Prakash Shah, Amanda Victoria Sidiri. Hillary Elizabeth Sylvia, A. Bonnie Singh, Yi Eun Song, Barbara Stathis, Taylor Lynn Steed. Ashley Jade Stern, Nicole Marie Sturgis, Elizabeth Swanley, Elisa Rose Tedeschi, Kevin Michael Tripp. Marie Chantal Tuffet, Nicole M. Vernelli, Tamaka S. Wallace, Isabel Day Watts, Jennifer Marie Weishville. Naomi Kimball Whites, Megan Elise Wilworth, Ritu Scaria Winders, Michaela A. Zelny. Presenting the candidates for the Certificate of Advanced Study in Nursing. Sarah E. Holt, Zoe Rose Stern, presenting the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Katie Amaral, Lauren N. Anderson. 
Anna Asaridis. Chelsea Lynn Baker, Abigail Castro Baltazar, Diana L. Barlum, Anna Serena Baum, Kaylee Marie Biles. Kaylee N. Bishop, Jessica Kristen Blasikevich, Ashley J. Bonilla, Lauren Marie Brady, Kendall N. Brigham. Wendy Buddha, Kathy Johanna Burbano, Aaron R. Burns, Emily Renee Butler, Kristen Marie Callahan. Alexandra Rose Camp, Abigail Reeves Carpenter, Alyssa Julia Carroll, Jennifer Michelle Lillian Carton, Kayla M. Caruso. Brianna Marie Cecatelli, Alexis Corey Chabot, Sonia Chakladar, Jeremy Chow, Anna H. Chung. Margaret W. Cochran, Kendra Nicole Collins, Stacy Lynn Miranda Conceso, Jessica Aurora Condon, Catherine E. Connolly. Gabriella Noel Capola, Stephanie Elaine Costas, Anna Marie Costello, Michael Paul Costello, Emily C. Curran. Claudia Leslie Curry, Conti Derafet, Karina Michaela D. Del Mundo, Danielle M. Demora, Joseph C. Di Piano. Kelsey Elizabeth Darty, Caitlin Ann Dooley, Tyson John Douglas, Molly Rose Downing, Evan Charles Drainville. Ariana McLean Dockers, Alexis R. Economy, Savannah Rose Fair, Brianna Faber, 
Melissa D. Fetosa. Monica R. Fees. Jill Andrea Fitzsimmons. Alicia L. Gaber. Catalina Gallo Jalil. Jeffrey D. Gard. Kelsey Alexandra Gately. Molly M. Gaydon. Joanna George. Joanna D. Gillardi. Chelsea M. Gillis. Karen Glavin. Lucy Helen Gogarty. Alicia Rose Gomes. Julia Marie Greeley. Govardhini Gurunath. Grace Halleck. Ellie J. Hahn. Nicolette Marie Hardy. Rita Carmo Hatsis. Christine He. Philia Joe Henderson. Allison Ray Hawkman. Alice P. Horn. Andrew Charles Jaquint. Tatiana M. Jean. Erica C. Jingosian. Liza Louise Jones. Lindsay Smith Kafka. Flannery Helene Keenan. Ariana China Kennedy Williams. Jane N. Corey. Rachel Allison Kirby. Jenna Marie Kramer. Marissa C. Kwok. Suzanne E. Lachance. Ariana Lafave. Marissa Laurel Lally. Jordan P. Laporte. Amber LeBlanc. Molly J. Lewis. Rong Lin. Alexandra M. Luongo. Olivia Lynn. Lauren Ann McCormack. Samantha Jean McRae. Shannon Casey McGuire. Neha Mulrani. Kimberly A. Marcelino. Britta Murphy Marden. 
Melissa E. Martin. Joseph Alexander Mazzoni. Liam David McCarthy. Alyssa J. Minahan. Jessica L. Mitchell. Kelly May Moscariello. Brian Sean Mulkern. Kayla R. Mungilo. Carolyn Marie Murray. Megan Elizabeth Niemer. Michaela Hanna Nishita. Megan Marie Noviello. Mariah Nuzo. Andrea Marie O'Neill. Allison E. O'Neill. Marissa N. Opalinski. Francis Jillian Pasquantonio. Bruna F. Pereira. Paris Camille Perret Stegall. David Pham. Helen Monica Pinard. Jessica Pinot. Kira E. Pluchinski. Sean Francis Plummer. Hilary Poff. Taye Diana Poe. Shannon Marissa Poli. Pascal A. Poku. Alexandra M. Potts. Chelsea Taylor Prioli. Nicole Jean Quigley. Kelly Quirk. Mallory Christine Rank. Aaron Elizabeth Richard. Melissa Richard. Nicholas M. Richard. Cassidy J. Rhine. Sophie E. Rinkoff Merland. Chiara Atina Raffo. Michaela Stephanie Ross. Melanie Patalud Ruizal. Charlotte M. Ryan. Brianna G. Salerno. Mark Daniel M. Salud. Lauren M. Sampson. Natalia Scarlett Charles. Kelsey Shavoni. Natalie Sarah Scott. Katerina Svakianakis. Alexandra Ray Shine. 
Rebecca K. Siegert. Eleanor E. Sino. Rochelle Sison. Annecy Beverly Smith. Olivia Morgan Smith. Taylor Nicole Smith. Julia M. Solomini. Elizabeth L. Stepanak. Deirdre Mary Sullivan. Kelly Mary Sullivan. Megan Mary Sullivan. Paige Elizabeth Sullivan. Megan Elizabeth Tallerman. Michelle Debra Tesser. Ginny Timoleon. Kirsten Ann Tringali. Marissa Noel Tripoli. Carolyn Elizabeth Tucker. Emily A. Tucker. Stephanie Urvias Mejia. Lauren Alexandra Vaccaro. Brandy Volta. Maggie M. Wan. Connor Ward. Megan E. West. Elizabeth L. Whiting. Abigail Catherine Williams. Kylie Ann Windica. Ali Wise. Sarah A. Wolfsburg. Sally Wong. Camilla A. Woodley. Ishley Yolchin. Christopher Bryant Zurup. Lisa Chung. Gabrielle Hurley Zorkers. Presenting the candidates for the Master of Science in Speech Language Pathology. Sarah Ashley Amon. Rama M. Al Hafiz. Mashail Al Mansour. Crystal M. Arguello. Rachel Reed Barrett. Denisha Maria Bernard. Heidi Blackham. Sarah Catherine Blushy. Brianna Renee Brennicky. Mikaela Camille Nantian Shikan. Anna Christina Chalet. Jocelyn Chocatu. Caroline Marie Colaruso. 
Maria Andrea Cruz, Daria Decker, David Despotakis, Casey Lynn Foster, Meredith Anne French. Stephanie Louise Gaglini, Danielle Claire Gagne, Elise Hopkins Gallegos, Natalie D. Gardino, Mika M. Genitasio. Yulia Geneva, Allison Marie Gonzalez, Rachel Blue Haskins, Hadir Salah Abdulbari Hazar, Julia Elizabeth Holswasser. Chuan Bing Huo, Elizabeth A. Kazmarek, Megan Rose Keen, Hope Carolyn Cantela, Sarah Youngsol Kim. Rebecca Ann Klein, Alexandria J. Lai, Rebecca Francine Lapidi, Carly Isabella Levine, Kelly J. Linehan. Rachel Madeline Liu, Alexandra Lachlan Moulton Lovrick, Zhao Yulo, Elizabeth Josephine McNeil, Elizabeth Malesio. Mayume Mutu, Rebecca Elizabeth Myhill, Courtney Abigail Perigo, Jennifer Christine Quiros, Crystal Lynn Radnor. Allison Reed, Marissa L. Russell, Mary E. Sanderson, Casey F. Scott, Rachel Lee Sepulveda. Madeline V. Smith, Nathaniel G. Soames, Holly Ann Sullivan, Rachel Beth Weintraub, Brianna Erica Williams. Sierra Joy Woods, presenting the candidates for the Certificate of Advanced Study in Literacy and Language. Stephen Benjamin, Pamela Jane Carroll, Kendall Kramer. 
Carrie A. Farnham, Allison D. Gray, Caroline Sheffield Hanlon, Mary Kate Hebe, Josh Kraus. Jennifer P. Madden, Carly Matarazzo, Kristen S. O'Brien, Indra Ong, Allison V. Shanker. Jennifer West. Presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Juliet Bariola. Nicole M. Bartlebaugh. Laura Emily Bauer. Alyssa B. Bjorkman, Matthew Stephen Boone, Jessica R. Broughton, Lauren Marie Compton, Taylor Ann Durney. Joy M. Facella Ervolini, Margaret A. Flynn, Ashley Glicksberg, Megan Emily Griffin, Heba Y. Hashim. Anna June Hauserman, Amy Ho, Victoria D. Hoyo, Rebecca Louise Eidman, Aaron Nicole Jansen. Lauren A. Keast, Catherine Krager, Laura McGee, Sarah Ann Manning, Felice Marie Mendez. Bria Nicole Mitchell Gillespie, Christy Moore, Lindsay Lee Morris, Julia R. Nadel, Johanna Elisa Kiambao Ojeda. Matthew J. O'Neill, Polizenia Jean Pantos, Virginia Simmons Sullivan, Alyssa Marie Taubert, Leah Grace Tinkum. Jasmine R. Torres, Sophia Yu, presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy, Ashley M. Aldred, Roki Aoki. 
Sydney Maribel Argetta. Elena Biagioni. Nicole Marie Brennan. Xavier Brito. David Su Long Chan. Kayla Ka Yi Chan. Darren Chu. Meredith Mary Conroy. Andrew John Coonan. Rachel Christine Cartwright. Francis Andrew Covino. Alana B. Dolgan. Alexandra Davy Diacenzo. Danielle A. Davila. Megan Grace Dupuy. Mackenzie B. Duyon. Natalie A. Echeverry. Emily Rose Elant. Rebecca Lee Fall. Natasha Fett. Emily E. Finger. Christina Flores. Ruthie Furman Ingard. Jessica Mallory Gibbons. Corey James Goldman. Sasha Elizabeth Gunther. Allison Miharu Hayashi. Andres J. Huang. Daniel Matthew Humphrey. Almami A. Jallo. Jared A. Juarez. Carly N. Kaikonen. Molly Todd Cam. Evan Kapler. Jeffrey Fuqua Kerbel. Jeremy Benjamin Lickman. Catherine Victoria Lim. Han Keat Lowe. Alexis L. Lyons. Andrew Madrid. Jason Robert Mango. Taylor Christine McHugh. Seamus L. C. McGuire. Caitlin Maxine McKenna. Megan McKinney. Casey Louise McVicker. Natalie E. Miano. Justin Thomas Montgomery. Brittany A. Morris. Corinne M. Natalie. 
Adam Nicholas Schmidt. Vanessa A. Singleton. Kayla L. Spawn. Neely G. Thompson. Jameson L. Trout. Joseph Velades. Kelsey Elizabeth Warren. Ellen Wertella. Anna Melissa Wilk. Yasemin Zarbafian. Presenting the candidates for the Master of Physician Assistant Studies. Daniel Lindorf Adelman. Trisha Auduong. Kelly Elizabeth Bianchi. Elytrius L. Booker. Mariah Bundy. Mindy Butler. Daniela Elizabeth Carbayal. Alice Catherine Churchill. Heather Cleveland. Jesse T. Cox. Jodlene Shirley Dorisant. Jordan E. Durkin. Kerwin Kagahastian Ebelani. Kristen Joyce Eng. David Jonathan Frotz. Colin P. Greenhill. Ladan Hakim Javadi. Karen R. Hall. Lauren Elizabeth Hobbs. Luisa Almohela Cruder. Chelsea Elizabeth Ming Yi Liu. Timothy Loftus. Nicole Isabel Love. Huang Yin L. Mack. Anna Moser. Brianna Aaron Murphy. Megan Marie Murta. Hannah Carmel Nolan. Caitlin Elizabeth O'Connor. Victoria Pieta. Noel Katarna. Anthony N. Rafiti. Sadana Rangarau. Adam Gray Raphael. Rachel May A. Resurrection. Thomas Romano. Madeline Marie Schuck. Emma R. Sullivan. Stephanie Umamoto. 
Shauna Nicole Van Etten. Eugene Wong. Lionel J. Wright. By the authority granted by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the trustees of the MGH Institute of Health Professions do hereby confer upon you the degrees and certificates recommended by the faculty, thereby admitting you to all the privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You are now officially IHP alums, bringing the grand total of graduates to a historic high of almost 9,000. I hope that having this commencement as a virtual event in no way diminished your pride in what you have accomplished. You have been an amazing class, and already you have an amazing legacy of flexibility in the face of adversity and commitment to becoming a healthcare professional. We hope you will keep in touch Share your news as you embark on or continue your professional career, and take advantage of the many services available to you through our dedicated Office of Career and Alumni Services. Before we conclude today's ceremony, I want to remind you to please join us at a virtual Zoom cocktail party beginning at 4 o'clock p.m. today. This concludes the 40th commencement exercises of the MGH Institute of Health Professions. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our newest class of graduates. Woo!